Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another video on Amazon tool deals. These are going to be tools that are on sale or they may have coupons or they may be at full price but still a really good tool that I would suggest or they may be a tool that I think is interesting and want your guys' opinion on. So first up is a Tekton combination wrench set. This is a 34 piece set so it's slightly larger than their average size set which is 30s, uh, 30 piece set. So you get a quarter inch to one inch and six millimeter to 24 millimeter. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it does not skip any sizes. That's a good thing about Tekton. Um, a majority of their sets do not skip sizes. So this set has five stars at 183 ratings at $136. So the price is very good. The wrenches are nice. I have the 30 piece set and it is phenomenal. I've had it for, I wanna say five or more years and it's been fant fantastic. The chrome plating is beautiful. The fitment is good. Um, another thing is Tekton has a fantastic warranty. One thing you want to keep in mind when buying Tekton tools on Amazon is to always check their website first before making the purchase just because the price might be the same, but also keep in mind that Tekton offers a 10% rewards program. So let's say you spend $100, you're going to get $10 on your rewards program to spend the next, you're not going to get $10 off of that hundred dollars but you're gonna get ten dollars on your rewards account that you can use next time you make a purchase so you always want to look at that so I still think this is a good set I think they're a good combination wrench set uh, they do have decent length they're a little bit longer than your standard combination wrenches so, and they are 12 point they have that angled head most wrenches combination wrenches do you have a 15 degree offset there's the 19 millimeter shown and there's your sizes so yeah no skips quarter inch to one inch and then six to 24 millimeter now keep in mind this is a 34 piece set for 136 and then they have their 30 piece set this is the set that i have that is 130 dollars so four less wrenches and that's basically just in your metric side doesn't go down to six i believe it was the other one went down to six and up to 24. This one starts at eight and goes to 22. Still a very good set, still priced very well. It's only $6 less, so if you would like those four extra wrenches, um, it is only $6 more. But this set is on sale from 142, which I believe is what they sell on Tekton 4, um, down to 131 basically, so a savings of $11. So keep in mind, if you did buy this set from the Tekton website at 142, you would be saving roughly $14. Or not saving $14, but you would receive $14 on your account for your next purchase. So it depends, do you want to save the $11 now, or would you like $14 to use towards a tool in the future from Tekton? Um, but either way, I think they're good wrenches and they're priced very well, uh, especially for the quality that you're getting. Next up is an item that I haven't used, but I would like your guys' input on. I think it's a very interesting tool. I've used something similar for lug nuts. I've used a larger half-inch drive. It actually attaches to an impact. Um, basically, you have this shaft here in the center that spins freely, so you can hold on to it while you hit a lug nut. With On the race team, we have deep well rims and to reach the lug nuts we would use a long socket but on that socket it had a free floating collar that you could hold on to so you could zip those lug nuts off uh, while still getting into the deep well rim now this is similar um, obviously it's not it's made for a impact driver or drill and you have that sleeve collar uh, that allows you to hold it with your hand to kind of get better uh, grip on it and control and this allows you to put a socket on the end and you get stubbies and long ones uh, in both quarter inch three eighths and half inch drives so i think it's a really nice set especially for twenty dollars um, i'm not necessarily sure it's necessary on the stubby ones that's not really something i would care about but on the longer ones uh, something where i'm reaching in somewhere where i would like a little bit more control i think that's a nice feature so this does have four and a half stars at 40 ratings for $21, basically. Let me know your guys' thoughts if you've bought this, your thoughts on it, or if you would consider purchasing this. Next up is a Klein Tools Electrical Voltage Test Kit. This is kind of a bundle set. Uh, so you get a clamp meter, uh, then you get three testers. Uh, 
some test leads, a pouch, and batteries. So you have your different style testers here, which is a nice touch. Um, now, obviously, if you're doing automotive stuff, these might not necessarily be uh, something you need. Uh, the clamp meter is definitely a nice little touch that could be used in the automotive field, not so much the testers, but overall from $100 down to $70, almost a savings of $30. You're saving $28. Uh, Klein tools, I've used a lot of their hand tools, not so much of their electrical tools. It has five stars at 437 ratings, so it is rated highly. Here, I'll just kind of share some of this information with you guys that they have here. So if you would like, you can pause uh, and actually see the image for a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna kind of flow through this. It is Cat 3 at 600 volts. Dual range tester, Cat 4 at 1000 volts. Next up is a Milwaukee locking plier set. So I have three of the Milwaukee locking pliers and I absolutely love them. I love the tail end of it, the tightening portion uh, or the tightening bolt, whatever you want to call it. I love that you can put a screwdriver shaft through there and tighten it down if necessary. Um, it's a little bit easier to turn for me than the knurled end. Uh, it just feels like a better design, but pliers themselves are no different. Just the threaded shaft end is different. So this is on sale from 132 down to 126. So a savings of six dollars has five stars at 80 ratings. Once again, I have very good experiences with the Milwaukee locking pliers. I think they're a fantastic set. But Irwin does have the exact same set, but without that um, red portion at the end. You just have the, the standard knurled tightening shaft on the end, but they are the same set. And this one is roughly $28 cheaper than the Milwaukee. It has five stars at 828 ratings. So both great sets. I prefer the Milwaukee style over these, even though the pliers are the same. I think they're still both great sets. Um, it just, it's really up to you to decide whether or not that extra 20 so some dollars is worth it to have that Milwaukee style. But here you can see both sets are the same, uh, same styles, same, same set you know you have your larger open jaws you got your straight jaws your long nose curved jaws of all different sizes you get the exact same ones the only difference is that next up is a astro tools this is their nano ratchet so that 3h drive head in a quarter inch ratchet body with the long handle so here you can see the competitors quarter inch the astro 3.8s and so you have the size of the quarter inch basically but you have that 3h drive size so it's a good combination these styles of ratchets can actually be very handy i have a torque wrench of the same design it's a quarter inch body torque wrench but with a 3h drive on it and it is fantastic so just to have something like this is nice i didn't know astro tools had one so i figured i'd share it with you guys it's 23 dollars basically it's four and a half stars at 158 ratings just quickly share that with you guys and then the last item up is an impact bolt and nut remover set now i'm not saying you necessarily have to go with this brand the reason i shared this was because i believe it's something that almost everybody that works in the automotive field or at home on automotive even if you're just a weekend warrior, a DIYer, this is something that you should have in your arsenal of tools. Um, so if you're just a DIYer or weekend warrior and you're not working on a whole lot of items, you still don't want to be stuck in a pickle or having to run to the store during a job because you've got a rounded off fastener or something like that. You want to have something in order to get that off and it's not always necessary to just go grab the grinder and chop that thing off. Uh, because then you could get yourself in a worse mess if you can get it out with something like this It will save you a huge headache. So if you're a DIY or a weekend warrior This is a good set just because it's very affordable You're not breaking the budget even if it's something that you use a handful of times the rest of your life I guarantee you the first time you need the set. It's going to pay for itself You're going to be very thankful for this set um, now obviously if you're doing work very often you may want to upgrade to a better quality, whether that be Irwin 
or the bolt biters or something like that but those they this style of nut and bolt remover can get very expensive so once again diyers weekend warriors it's in your best interest to look for something like this even if you're okay with just buying something way more affordable like this because they don't have to be the highest quality as long as they're good for those very few times that you hopefully need them but if you work fairly often you may want to upgrade if you find yourself dealing with a lot of rounded off fasteners so this set has four and a half stars at almost 400 ratings and is on sale from 28 dollars down to 25 dollars. so a savings of three dollars but once again it's something that i believe everybody that works on anything automotive should at least have in their arsenal of tools so that's it as far as this week's amazon tool deals and i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts on these tools that i have for the week and uh, as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing i'll see you guys next time